Hi, I'm Scott Legg. I come from Massey High School and I'm interested in a career in the automotive industry. I'll be looking at jobs from entry level to top dog. And Scott's first experience in the automotive industry will be as an automotive technician with Continental Car Services. Specialising in the world's most prestigious brands, Scott will have no shortage of choice when it comes to tinkering with the top shelf. Hello, I'm Scott. Hi Scott, I'm Nikki. Welcome to Continental Cars. Thank you. So we've got some really nice top of the line cars and also some top of the line service facilities. Continental Cars is a subgroup of Syme Derby Motor Group here in New Zealand. Continental Cars has been in business for about 40 years here in Auckland and it's known as a, a luxurious European dealership. So what roles do you guys have here? Um, everything from an apprentice technician all the way through to service advisor. So automotive technician, workshop supervisor and service advisor. Alright. So shall we pop you into a uniform and head over to Porsche where you're going to spend some time with Robert, a technician. Choice. Hey Robert, this is Scott. Scott, this is Robert. Hey mate, how you going? Good, thank you. He's one of our star automotive technicians and he's going to be looking after you while you're in the Porsche workshop. As an automotive technician, um, we basically two sides of it. We service cars and we also fix faults with cars. So we have preventative maintenance where a customer comes in, they just get the service done, make sure we change the oil, plugs, whatnot, um, just so the car doesn't break down, runs nicely for them. And there's also the uh, more diagnostic side of it where a customer comes in with maybe a knock or a rattle and, and we have to fix it and make sure it all runs nice and smooth for them. Good afternoon, sir. Just doing the warrant fitness on your car today? Yes, please. Yes, and yes. Uh, the right rear indicator is flashing really fast. We'll have a look at that for you as well. Yeah. Okay, you. no problem. When dealing with a customer's half a million dollar pride and joy, care is critical, as is attention to detail. Alright, so what do we do first? So before starting the comprehensive warrant checks, Scott takes a moment to fix the number plate and then gets behind the wheel. Start off with the left hand indicators. Okay, right hand indicators. There's our problem, the bulb's not working. Okay, so that takes like a minute or two to fix, we might as well do it now before we do the rest of the inspection. Just pull the um, light out, just clips out, get your hand in behind there, a bit harder. Come on, there we go, cool. There's a little clip there, and then you pull that black, whole black bit off. Okay, sometimes you can use a screwdriver. Oh. That's all right, you get the hang of it after a while. There we go. Uh, if you have a look in there, the little yellow thing, that's the bulb, that's what we want. Yep. Um, easy as to get out, just pull it out. Now you see that one looks pretty good. Usually if a bulb blows, you'll see it's maybe burnt and whatnot. Oh, okay. So I'd say, judging by this, it's probably a dirty electrical contact. As an apprentice automotive technician, jobs like this will become commonplace. All right, mate, how's it going? Oh, it's good. Just... Yeah, it looks like it's working, eh? So you done the job? Yep, that was good. That was, that was pretty simple. But as your skills grow, so will the complexity of your tasks. But as an automotive technician, it can get a lot more complex than that, especially with these newer cars with the amount of technology that's packed into them. So it's really advisable for us to do a computer search on it, make sure there's no silly little faults stored on the computer that could become worse later on. Now this is a start screen, and here you've got a list of all your different computers that are inside the car. And as you can see, there's quite a big list, the amount of technology that's in there nowadays. You really need this to be able to diagnose the cars. Yeah, you can see that. Even, the, even on the screen, eh? it's mm. just so many different things. There. No, there's a lot, a lot of different controls, a lot of technology packed in. I mean, these cars alone have 40 different computers in them to control various items, so yeah, it gets pretty hard. That's intense. Mm. And Thomas Larson knows just how intense that apprenticeship can be. After experiencing the role of a technician on just the job three years ago, he gained an apprenticeship at Continental's Peugeot workshop and is loving every moment. Uh, I think I enjoy most about the job would just be the exposure to all the different things to learn. Um, there's so much to learn each day. It's good. My um, wife has always given me a lot of support and any questions regarding bookwork or the learning side of things, they've always been quick to help out. Coming on board with Mito, um, you, you've got the whole of the of Mito to back you. Basically, we, by talking with you, if you require more assistance, we can find it for you. Okay, that's what we're there for. We're there to help you succeed. In the workshop, Robert and Scott are making good progress through their warrant inspection. Well, let's put it right up in the air. We'll check underneath, make sure all the suspension and the engine's fine. Check every single tyre. You want to spin it the whole way around so you can check for any um, nails or stones that might be in the tread. Uh, seems all right. 
With a car this well maintained, little is likely to be wrong. But Robert takes no chances and follows a very specific checklist, examining every component with care. Now this is the business end of a Porsche, the engine's right at the back, so we're looking for generally oil leaks or um, any cracks anywhere, suspension is very important, looking for cracks and wear or unusual rubbing and whatnot. Um, and you're also checking for any play in the bushes, so we usually get the lever bar under there, just check there's no splits in the rubber. And um, looking at the exhaust, make sure there's no exhaust leaks, no um, black, the way you can tell the exhaust leak is there'll be like black, black soot um, there, that's like a witness mark. With the full warrant of fitness inspection successfully completed, it's time for the test that Scott's been waiting for. What other jobs do you guys work on? Um, you can do anything from doing a basic service, an oil change service, right up to doing engine rebuilds. So take an engine out of a car and just completely rebuild it. And that's probably my favourite part about it, is the engine rebuild. It's nice and mechanical, technological and whatnot. Um, but it's just yeah, a very broad range and also with um, my brand you sort of work on a brand new car so you've got lots of technology involved, you're using lots of computers but you can also use the same sort of knowledge you would you get from your MITO course on cars that are right down to like 50 years old so you can work on old cars from the 50s and 60s and whatnot and that's a, that's a lot of fun too, it's a good experience to work on old things. So where can you go from here? Um, Mechanicing is a really good thing because you can go pretty much anywhere in the world. It's the same. It's the same everywhere. So my my plan is to go overseas with it. You can travel anywhere and be a mechanic in in, any, in Europe or America, wherever you want to go. Um, and you can also move up within your company or within the country. You can move up towards more managerial roles. They can go up to a service advisor, and then from there you can go even further and become a service manager. That's where you can go from there. So as you've got lots of options, with travelling over the world or moving up managerial-wise, I think it's a great industry to be in. I really enjoyed being an automotive technician. Uh, it was good fun, getting under the car, seeing how everything works, and then even getting to fix it myself. The best part, oh, it'd probably have to be the uh, road test getting to see how the car actually runs on the road. I could definitely see myself trying to get into this for the future. To become a qualified automotive technician, you can complete an apprenticeship and attain a national certificate in motor industry, automotive electrical and mechanical engineering, level three and four with strand and light vehicle. There is no minimum requirements to begin your apprenticeship, but good grades in maths, English and science are recommended. Training is supplied on the job, allowing you to earn while you learn, with support from the NZ Motor Industry Training Organisation, who also run a start-up program for secondary school students wanting a head start in the industry. As an automotive technician, you'll gain qualifications and skills recognised around the world, allowing you to work in any environment from the small workshop floor to large specialised brands. Demand for qualified automotive technicians is high, and with experience and further training, you can advance your career into a multitude of roles. Supporting local content so you can see more of New Zealand on air.